we are looking at Philippians and this theme of pursuing the prize, but it's actually when I hear that title, I actually think a lot about certain things for myself and what's in me. And, do you know, I don't know if, like me, you've ever been in a kitchen area or something and, and someone gets a jar out and, and, and they're trying to open the jar and everything's in me saying, give it to me. Give it to me, I can do that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll open that. Give me the jar. And there was something in me sometimes that wants to be the one who can do something, who can win the competition of, of opening the jar. I, I mean, I even find myself inside when I'm at uh, a supermarket and, uh, and I go to uh, pay for the products and, and I'll put it on the conveyor belt at the till and I strategically sometimes, sometimes, not every time, but sometimes, position the food and the products on the on the belt on the conveyor belt there so that actually i'll be able to uh, pack my bag quicker than the person at the till can get the food to me so the really awkward stuff that they might have to type in a place at the back to slow them down to give me chance to pack out because there's something uh, in me and i'm sure it's in many of us where we actually want to win we want to be the person that wins the quiz. Uh, we want to be the fastest, want to be the strongest, the smartest. And, um, you know, the thing is, sometimes we can approach that with the Christian life of, I want to do this, I want to be the one who does that. And, um, but the good news about the Christian life is that actually God tells me I cannot do it. I'm not able to be that perfect Christian in my own strength. I'm not able to uh, feed enough poor people to be that perfect Christian. I'm not able to pray for enough sick people to be that perfect Christian. And and that's quite liberating when, when you realise that actually God is letting me know and he's letting us know that, that we can't do it ourselves. And in Philippians 2 verse 13, this is these this verse is I, I find fantastic. It says, It is God who works in you. It is God. God Himself working in us. And it says that the reason He's working in us is it says is in order to fulfill His good purpose. Actually, God has got a prize for us, He's got a prize for me. Uh that isn't about me winning something, it's about me journeying with God not on my own but journeying with God where I'm pursuing him but actually he's working in me he's doing all the hard work and uh, I I have a favorite well not a favorite verse but a verse that I, I move towards in my life and it's from Acts 13 verse 36 and it just says now, when David had served God's purposes in his own generation, he fell asleep and was buried. So, that, 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 I want that spoken all my life. That's, that's one of the things I, I look for, that at the end of my days, have I served the purposes of God in this generation? And actually, by getting myself out of the way, I will allow God to do that work in me so that he will fulfill his good purpose in me. And I, and I don't have to approach my Christianity like I do trying to open an, a jar. I don't have to approach my Christian journey with brothers and sisters as though I'm in a race with them at a, a cashier till in a, and trying to beat them by being the fastest, the smartest, the cleverest. Actually, all I need to do is allow God himself to work in with me. And that's just great news. That's quite liberating. That's absolutely fantastic. God bless.